What's going on YouTube? It's your man San from the Mars and Mass channel. Today I'm bringing you kind of a really cool uh, video and a really cool photo because I think, um, I don't know, you know, this is going to be up for debate. So, you know, that's the reason why I bring these photos to you guys. I think I found another one of a Mars machine or something. And like always, guys, I always look forward to your opinions and your feedback for you guys to let you, you know, to let me know what you guys think. Um, I actually have two photos of this same soul, and this is going to be Curiosity Soul 620, right? Okay, so there's one view, and this is the other view. Now, you guys know the way I do things here. I grab my photo, I copy my layer, I add a 0 0.5 pixel blur, I auto-tone, color, and contrast it, and this is the end result right here. Now, if you could see this photo... The, how beautiful it is that this is the true color of Mars. You can see um, without all that, I mean, Photoshop does render it in the way that it thinks that it should look. And this muddied crap, all this gray skies, I think it's total BS. But you auto tone, color, and contrast. Photo takes that image and you know processes it to a point where it thinks how it should look on earth or it should have the natural earth tones so i think this is actually spectacular if you look at this photo it is so much more beautiful this way and you know you have to wonder why they add that you know they say that there's no atmosphere and there's no clouds and you know whatever but i think this is the total way it should be looking right you could see you got like a, a almost a crystal clear blue sky you have a very nice tone to your mountains here and the rocks look like they should you know I, I don't I don't believe that that muddy layer that they're putting over these photos because it makes it look like crap okay so the first thing I actually wanted to go ahead and go through is my adjustments like I just said I copy my layer I blur it with a today I put a uh, 0.5 pixel blur on these and I auto toned colored and contrasted it now um, I was looking at this photo and I've seen a couple of these photos and there's different views on this in which, you know, I do believe um, we found here another machine or a, uh, it looks, listen, it looks like a machine part. It looks like something that is just you know so out of place here on Mars so like I said guys this is the reason why I bring you these photos this way you guys can analyze it and you guys can give me your feedback as well okay um, the one thing I do want to point out is this area right here and this is where it is okay this is what I first noticed you could see this right you got all this here and then I am not too sure I'm gonna go ahead and deselect that I am not too sure if this is part of it too because you can see that it is in sections as well so we're gonna go ahead and analyze both of these items here and we're gonna see what they could possibly be so let's go ahead and get started <clears throat> the reason why I say this could possibly be a machine is because number one take a look at this all right, you guys see this, right? You guys see, number one, the first thing that I noticed is NASA cut this, like whatever this thing is, and they actually put a different color on it. If you back it out, you will be able to take a look at it, and you will see that it just, it's so perfectly sliced on the center there, and it's a different color that NASA had to, had to do some massive tampering with this. Okay, so I'm going to go back into my zoom mode where you guys can see it. Okay, and as you can see here, why I think this is a machine. Okay, let's take a look. Let's analyze the elements here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take my marquee, uh, not the marquee, you know, whatever that is, the selection tool. And I'm going to go ahead and add an adjustment layer to it. Now, when I work with the levels, I like to work with the levels because it brings out all your darks, your midtones, and your highlights. So it, it's supposed to level out your photo, which I think is a very good technique to bring out some of the stuff. Let me see. Did this just do it? Yes, it did. Okay. So now, right now, all I'm doing is adjusting the gray tones the black tones here and then I'll push it up with the white so you can see everything so there's that okay now what I think why I think this is a machine just check it out guys look you can see how this thing goes this way 
right? It comes up, it comes to a curvature. It doesn't look like a rock to me, okay? And then it looks like it comes down and then goes back this way and comes back up, right? I'm gonna go ahead and move that. It looks like it comes back up, but yet on this side, you have what looks to be like a straight, a straight line here, and then it comes down. Then it goes back this way, and then it comes straight down again. Then it goes this way, and then it comes straight down again. So this part here, now, if you take a look at this line, it follows down, it goes all the way to the back, and it comes straight, and it stops there. It could possibly, like I said, guys, this could be a machine, this could be a millions of things, but why I say that is because it doesn't look like it's supposed to be there, all right? And when I say it doesn't look like it's supposed to be there, it's too symmetrical, okay? It it looks like a machine to me. So if you guys back it out a little bit, right, I just adjusted the levels, so let's go ahead and see if I can... Uh, do something else with it. I'm going to go ahead and go to my layers here and adjust the brightness and contrast. Okay, see, now that's the problem. I have to, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the levels, right? And I'm going to go ahead and select it again. Let's do the whole thing. Okay, let's leave that as a layer. Now, let's do this I want to walk you through the guy. I want to walk you guys through the steps, so this way you guys know if you guys ever want to try this in Photoshop, it's right there for you. I don't do really tutorials because I'm not a tutorial guy, but you can get it. It's not too hard from what I'm doing that you can actually see. You know, the I want you guys to see the features, okay? And this is my point exactly. I'm not going to leave the photo like this, but you can see it right here. Check it out. You can see it goes down this way. It looks to have a very sharp end, and it looks like it comes up here. It looks like it comes back and up this way. And this this possibly could be metal of some sort. So I don't know. That's the reason why I, I need you guys to check it out. Let me know. You know, if you have ever seen something like this, you know, and you possibly know what this is. I, I think it's a machine. Okay. So let's go ahead and take the whites. And bring it back, okay. And then the blacks are too black, and that that's it. All right, that's it for the layer. Um, that kind of adjustment. Let's see. What I'm going to do is hit Command and on that mask layer again, and it will reselect it. Let's go ahead and hit it with another adjustment layer. Um, I like to do the curves at points because it does bring out more of the colors. And it does bring out those lines. It broadens up the sharpness. It broadens up a lot of the things here. There you go. Now, if you guys can see this thing, this thing is, is weird as heck. Now, look at it, okay? It looks to be, let me see if I can grab my sharpen tool here now. Because my pointer is so large, uh, that's why it does that, okay? Let's see what we can do here. I got to get off this layer. Back to my adjustment layer here. And let's see if I could sharpen it up just a little bit because I want to accent those lines. I want you guys to see um, what we're dealing with here because I, I, I don't know. This does look like a machine of some sort. And if you can see in the front here, I mean, NASA pixelates these, these images really, really bad. So let's see what we got. I think you guys can get a better idea, okay, of what we're working with here. Look at that. You can see where NASA just cut it straight off, right? They cut it straight off and they put something on there. I don't know why they did that. You can see there's a direct cut directly in the middle of this thing, which is very weird. So, here. I want to show you guys the way it came from NASA. Look at that. I mean, that is just total and complete junk. You know? Look at all these blocky pixelations. Look at all these... The, ugh. And that's the reason why, guys. That's the reason why I put the blur on it. So this way it gets rid of some of those artifacts as you can see it's not going to totally relieve them but it does get rid of it in to a point where you don't have to really deal with it but um check it out guys i mean it was really exciting to me and like i said i just wanted to bring that to your attention because this you don't see any of the rocks uh surrounding this um with this particular shape as you can see it goes straight up goes this way comes back down like very sharply and then this piece goes straight down and curves right across the side and then this looks to be the same piece as this
and it looks like it comes down. And then this looks like the same piece again, and it looks like it forks off to another segment here and goes straight down again. But this is what, what's really interesting to me. I know all we're looking at is pixels. I mean, there's nothing you really can do, you know, when it comes down to NASA because they really destroy. Uh, you know, I would really love to, to just see one photo of Mars, but not touched, not tampered with, because this, in my opinion, is not a natural occurrence, okay, and I'm, I'm waiting for you guys' feedback and, your, and you know, your comments and so forth, because I, I don't know if this is part of it, but this is definitely weird, right, let's see if I can do this, let me see if I can do this, hold on, uh, let's see if I could throw a little bit of, more of a blur, okay, and as you can see, it, when you blur it, it does put a little bit more pixelation. It does take it off, but you, there you go. Now, the levels, let's go ahead and readjust those. Now, check it out, guys. I mean, it looks really cool because I, I'm not sure. Look at this thing. This thing looks like it's coming up and over and back, but you can see it does go straight up and go straight back, and it's to a 90-degree angle here on the front, which I thought was really odd because, guys, like I said, this is... This is Mars that people say it's a lifeless planet. I disagree 100% that this is a lifeless planet. I do believe at point in time there was or there possibly still is, you know, animals or, or things that are still roaming this planet. So these, these could be the ancient remains of, of a crashed I dare to say it, you know, it could be a machine. You know, look at that. That is just too perfect, guys. Check it out. Look at it. Let me get, let me get my sharpen tool. Maybe if I sharpen this layer, um, you will actually be able to see it better. Let's see. Does it work? You can see this part right here. This is what I'm talking about. This one looks like it's in sections, guys. Check it out. It's one two three and of course it's buried in the dirt but look at this this part goes down goes all the way this way and follows up through the back and then 90 degree angle bang straight down and then something comes up and around now this thing comes straight this way down again you know it looks like to have like a sharp edge so you know i i don't know what to think about this one but that's the same one let's go ahead and get into the second photo that i have of this Okay, so maybe we can pull out more detail this way. And of course, you guys can see this photo is completely shot. So I put a little, of a, little bit of a blur on it, and I auto-tone color and contrast it, and you can see this item from a different angle. Okay, now let's go ahead and make another adjustment layer. Um, let's do the levels, because like I said, guys, it just brings out... Check it out. Now, there it is. That that makes more sense. You can see this big NASA pixel, how it cuts straight down the center. But check it out. This is possibly uh, another machine, guys. I mean, this doesn't look like a rock. I mean, you, you guys know what rocks look like. You know what I'm saying? So, um, have you ever seen a rock do this? Go, look, you can see this is one piece, right? It goes straight up, comes this way, goes all the way down like a teardrop or a leaf comes back up this way and then curves comes back and curves over this way then you have this portion here which goes straight and then cuts down and then it comes back down again and then comes straight down again and then comes down you can see what I'm talking about it's like you can see this triangle pattern right here but you can see one section two section three sections and what what really struck me the most is let me see I'm oh, I keep you gotta get off the layer the adjustment layer saying okay there you go. Check this thing out. Now, see, I'm sharpening it, and now you can see it's so much better. What well, looks to be a machine. I don't think this is a rock. I have never seen a rock with this kind of formation before. Okay. Let's see if I could do something with this. And this could possibly be, you know, the front of this item or the front of this machine. Who knows? I mean, guys, you say, all right, well, Sam, you're, you're seeing these things, and they look like rocks. Yeah, they do look like rocks because you have all the sediment from time that is caked up on top of these items you know these things could be here for millions of years and you have all the sediment you have erosion you have possibly water damage because NASA's is not telling us the truth there is water on this planet you know and when things are devastated or things are have reached like to a cataclysm of some sort you know when when things are sitting on a planet that are not touched for millions of years it's going to look like crap 
if you ever would dare say let, let go try to find the, the the titanic go all the way down there it's been over a hundred years you see what that ship looks like it's totally destroyed it's totally caked up from all that years of being in the water and these items are probably the same because they're sitting out exposed to all the elements for millions or even thousands or millions of years so you know this is a very good possibility that this is not a rock okay guys check it out look what rock do you know has this sort of a shape comes straight up right and then goes up with a curve i don't i've never seen a rock do that this could be like an exhaust pipe this could be something this is possibly like a metal or something but look at the layers in it look at the layers and then this is the the, the showstopper right here because you have what looks to have like a leaf or a teardrop shape you know like what is that you know what i'm saying guys listen i'm looking forward to your feedback i want you guys to check this out and let me know what you guys think because here's the second view of this item and i just thought it looked to be like a machine of something or possibly could be an artifact but check it out you got sections of this thing here and you got that teardrop thing that looks like it comes up and around and uh you got this right here that just has too much of a perfect side to it guys so i don't know you guys let me know what you guys think in the comments section like always um you know, I'm not feeling too good today because of the rain outside. I've had four back surgeries, and I can tell you three days before when it's going to rain. And in New York City right now, it's very humid. So, you know, it's just you know, things i got to deal with. So, <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm looking forward to your, your feedback and your comments. Like always, you guys are awesome. You guys have blown my mind for the past three, four months. And I couldn't ask for better supporters because you guys are supporters, not subscribers. I don't consider you guys subscribers. I can consider you guys supporters because you support the things that I do here. And I think that's pretty, pretty cool that you guys do that with me. And, you know, taking this journey on to uncover the things on Mars, I think it's been fun. And I think I won't stop this until, you know, maybe I'm 95 and old and gray. There's an anomaly here and there's pressure. You get the, you get the drift, guys. Anyway, guys, I'm looking forward to your, your, um, your feedback and your comments. Like always, the official links will be provided for you in this video's description. Have a great weekend, and I will talk to you guys on Monday. Later, guys.